Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Rajas of India. Here we are in uh, Kataka, uh, playing as Thakur Ald of House Dragon, of course. So, um, first things first, uh, we are not married, but I'm not going to try to get married just yet. We can have concubines, so that's what I'm going to focus on first. Uh, I have looked around off screen, and there just really are not many good females uh, available that we can marry. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the range of that, uh, but basically since it's a brand new game, it hasn't generated enough daughters for uh, the other kings. Like, you know, for example, this guy, he only has sons, he has no other family. You know, most of these people don't have uh, sisters or anything else. So, there's not much that we can do terms of marriage and getting marriage ties right now. So I think I'm going to wait on an actual marriage. I'm going to start by taking concubines, and that also means that our first option uh, for an ambition is going to become Chancellor. Um, that will give us uh, plus one diplomacy. Um, go with that. Uh, when our Beige chooses us, and he almost certainly will. Uh, in addition, we have a choice to choose a patron deity. Let's go ahead and do that right off the bat. These are the three gods of the Trimurti, the Great Trinity. Perhaps I should choose one of them as my patron deity. Fair Shiva, with his trident. Plus one marshal, minus one diplomacy. All powerful crowned Vishnu. Gain minus one marshal, plus one diplomacy. Mighty Brahma, he of four faces. Plus one intrigue, minus one stewardship. And there are other powerful deities as well. Uh, I don't know what that leads to, but I'm going to go for Vishnu uh, for that bonus to diplomacy. Now, in addition, uh, one downside that we have got right now is that uh, we're getting Kind of a hefty mi uh, negative uh, um, karma penalty. Which, there's not a whole lot that we can do about that right now. I think we're just going to end up losing um, our karma. What's there until I can get married and start doing things um, with regards to that. But for now... Um, we need more people in our court. So, I am actually going to go ahead and I'm not going to invite a holy man to court. Um, I got 42 gold. It's going to cost one gold per noble and debutante. So, let's go ahead and get 10 nobles. And I'm going to get a lot of debutantes. There are not enough women around who are otherwise good. Let's get a few more nobles. We want some good uh, people to choose from for our um, uh, uh, for our council positions as well. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and see if we got anyone who is a genius. We actually got someone who is better at diplomacy than us. She's pretty good. Oh, yes! We did get a genius! Oh, oh, that is good. You know what? I'm going to arrange a marriage with you. Oh, let's actually hold off on that. Alright, well, we've got a lot of women. Um... I'll take some concubines in a bit. I don't need to deal with that immediately. Uh, I am going to take a quick save, though. Um, because I got that genius. We have just started out. Alright. So, uh, first things first. We've chosen our ambition. I guess this is not the first things first. Um, let's go ahead and choose some council positions. Uh, we've got a diplomat with an 11 there. Actually, I might want to 
wait a tick for them to choose some ambitions. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So increase the speed a bit. Let's wait a few days. There we go. Alright, Council. Chancellor, do we have anyone? No. No one has chosen ambitions yet. Alright, well, fine. Just start appointing people who are appropriate. Marshal. Ooh, very good. Stuart, right there. And we probably have... No, we don't have a better uh, 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 priest. So that's actually good. I could proselytize, but I'm going to go ahead and research cultural tech instead. Uh, study technology. I've looked around to see what the best option for us is here. And it looks like Karur is going to be our best choice for uh, where we are right now. Uh, there's a couple better ones a little bit farther out. If I could have gotten out to uh, Gurgen, that would be a great county for that. But uh, obviously nowhere near as good as uh, uh, Sinope. And now you can see that some of my uh, Steam friends list is playing Rogue Legacy. I forgot to start my timer. <clears throat> Let's get that taken care of. Um, back to our council. Uh, let's go ahead and fabricate a claim here. This is the second best county in our du jour duchy, which I am the ca county capital for. Um, since all the others only have two holdings, this one has three. So we want to get a claim there. I do like the uh, fortress image there. It's a pretty cool looking image. Um, let's go back to council. We need to train troops. Let's go ahead and collect taxes. And we're done with that. Um, other than that, I think we're pretty much uh, done. I'm not gaining any... Uh, technology points, unfortunately, uh, because I'm just a count. So maybe studying technology wasn't the best choice. Although we could always build that up and uh, let that, you know, let points accrue from studying technology. Um, so we do still need to get married, but I need to wait until I get cho chosen as, count as a chancellor. So let's go ahead and do that should come soon. Uh, he has named me Cupbearer. I actually want this to be a pop-up, I think. Uh, Cupbearer, what does that do for me? Is there a... It doesn't really tell me where the, uh... I think there's a slight thing for cupbearer. Let's uh, take a look at our vassals. How about this? Award honorary title. Cannot name him cupbearer. Uh, court poet would be... Yeah, point oh two. No prestige for that. Uh, court musician, point oh two as well. Master for hunt. I don't know if Cupbearer gives me any uh, prestige. Yeah, it does. 0. 0.012. Okay. That's good. Get some extra prestige out of that. I am starting to think that Lakshmi Karadevi might fancy me. Make a move! Hey, hey, hey. Let's go with that. That's fine with me. I went to... Uh, I went to her bedchamber and gave her a good temple. Tumble. It's good to be the Thakur. The old wound is finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Excellent. More prestige, and here we go. To the magnificent Thakur all. May you live in harmony and contentment. Would you like... We would like to appoint you to Chancellor. What do you say? I will accept that. 
So, wait for it, wait for it. Haha, <laughs> I have fulfilled the ambition to become Chancellor and gained a point of diplomacy. Fantastic. Oh, I thought my marshal would be down to minus one. Would be down to seven. I guess because I was wounded, it's uh, no longer that. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get married. I'll gain ten karma for uh, the marriage. Um, my opinion of my Raja would increase. I guess that would be if he found a wife for me. But there is a good wife in my court already. Since, as you can see, uh, so this, gray, this flag is grayed out. We would get no alliance for the marriage. I've got no options for choosing someone who will get me an, uh, an alliance. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose her. She's not actually, uh, she doesn't actually want to get married, but okay. Let's go ahead and get married. Thucker Ald and Thucker Ald have gotten married. I think that's a bug. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremony. I'll gain 10 gold or 50 prestige. Right now, I'd rather get the prestige, because I'm getting a... I have a positive monthly balance for money anyway, so that's not a big deal right now. All right. Now, that means I am going to also take some concubines. Um, do we have any other good traits? There is the attractive trait that I could take. Another attractive trait. Uh, we don't have any strong or uh, quick or genius traits. Do we have any lustful women? She is lustful. Um, sure. So I can take three concubines. So let's see. Who else can I take? All concubines really do for you is children, so so we don't have any other options for uh, lustful. Um, so we've got gray eminence uh, traits, which would be good. That would lead to uh, bonuses. That that also leads to bonuses to uh, fertility, and so does Shaktist. Find someone who is. Stick with the. Uh... Ooh, monthly karma plus 0.5. That would be a good one for me. Of course, I need to. Let's see. Change religious branch. Alright. I need prestige. Okay, that's fine. So I will be able to do that in a bit. Uh, what am I? I want to take more concubines. This will take the ones who are. Well, let's see. This is going to be. She's club-footed with the fertility bonus. That's disappointing. All right. Let's look to see if there are any others. Choose her. And what about any others? Her. She's chased though, so let's look for someone else. Her? Or. Let's see, that's plus 10. That's plus 5. So, yeah. There we go. Ah, lots of fertile young women. 
We get a uh, bonus. Nubile Concubines times three, plus point six. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. I don't make these choices. <laughs> it's in the game. All right, I have fulfilled the ambition to get married, so that's taken care of. Now I can choose another ambition. Uh, let's see. Become exalted amongst men would be prestige of 1,000. Um, but let's go ahead and... Oh, and th this is a new. Paragon of Enlightenment. Uh, karma of at least 500. I'd gain one learning. I'd gain 100 karma. I don't know the wise. Um, that's probably not going to happen. Uh... There's always a mass wealth as well, but let's go with have a son for now. That will, uh, that has a hidden bonus of, uh, plus 20%, I think maybe it's 25%, uh, uh, uh fertility. Uh, let's take a look at our holding here. Alright, I'd really like to get up to, uh, about 100... 50 gold so I can uh, build a castle town. So, let's get back to the game. Let time pass. Choose some things, see if we uh, have a child. Actually, I've got uh, all those uh, women in my court. Let's, uh, let's see. Gender. Women. Married. No. Let's start marrying them off. Uh, we'll start by marrying them... Oh, I wonder if I'd get... Yeah, I would not get any alliances with anyone for marrying these women off, unfortunately, to uh, other people in, outside of our court. So... The ones who are really good with educational traits, I'm going to keep around for sure. Uh, let's arrange a marriage. Any men who uh, want to get married? Yes, you, but you're weak. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't want to marry the weak guy. Uh, okay, matrilineal, it's fine. You... Marriage. I don't know why he was lowborn and she wasn't. Eh, whatever. He wants to get married. Matrilineal is fine. You want to get married? Uh, a couple others who want to get married here. Let's go ahead choose them. Okay, she's unfortunately club-footed. Well, she was also chased, so it kind of balances those out as well. Reach marriage. This guy wants to become Marshal. Seriously? It's not going to happen. Start marrying them off there. Just to the, uh... I probably should have married him off to married her off to the weak guy, actually. We're gonna have so many kids in our court. touched. Make sure that she stays in our court. Education purposes. Oh, this guy's also might have touched. Marry the two of them. All right.
just marrying off lots of people, so we've got people available for um, sending off to vassals and other courts and stuff like that eventually. I suppose I could do the rest of this off screen later. Yeah, I'll do the rest of that off screen. All right, let's go ahead and uh, keep going. Currently at the guy's court. I don't have enough money to do anything. Prestige is slowly, uh, uh, slowly losing, uh, getting up to positive. And fate smiles upon me. My concubine Gowrie is pregnant. She was just a lustful one. Okay. Gain five prestige though. Is good. Fate smiles upon me, my concubine Nayana Devi is pregnant. Fantastic. Okay. Slowly eating away at our uh, negative prestige there. Uh, we have actually gained slightly art. We're getting a little bit more karma from vassal buildings. That's good. So we're not losing it, not hemorrhaging it quite as quickly, although it's still going pretty fast. This is a pretty well-developed temple. I'm kind of impressed at that, really. The town is fairly well-developed as well. I didn't look at those before I chose this. I'm kind of impressed that they did so well. I need to get some archers, too. I am starting to think Yaji Yavati might fancy me. Ah, one of the attractive ones. Make a move! <laughs> a daughter was born to Thakur Ald of Kataka and Gauri. Okay, she is child of a concubine, Shaktist, and Kshatriya, which is my. That's also hers. I'm not sure exactly how the casts will play into this yet. Um, I'll go with that that name. I went to Yajiyavati's chamber and gave her a good tumble. It's good to be the Thakur. Ha ha ha. Ah, good time. And a son was born. Excellent. He is... has a stutter. You don't have a stutter. How did he get a stutter? Oh, that's disappointing. Well, he is a concubine, so let's, uh... Er, son of a concubine. Uh, we still have our wife, who is a genius, and she does get a slight fertility bonus, though, so that is good. And she is also a shocktist, which is a bonus to fertility. Ah, nice. Now, if only she would get pregnant. Okay, I've fulfilled the ambition to have a son, so let's choose another ambition. Alright, um, guess we'll go with improved stewardship now. Okay, we have positive prestige. My wife is pregnant. Yes! She wants to have a daughter, which is another bonus to fertility for her. That's good. What do we have options here? Uh, you have a new heir, and you have a new heir. There we go. Do I have any... Do not have any plots? Yep, not a whole lot goes on at this uh, early stage. Um, can't really go to war against anyone else. I think because of, primarily because I'm a vassal. Well, I could actually declare war. Subjugation of that and... Yeah, I kind of think that this might be a little bit overpowered. Um, oh, great. I don't feel too well. Something is wrong with me. I am burning up with fever. My nose is running and my head feels as if someone is banging something hard against it. Please kill me. Uh, see, I could actually subjugate that entire uh, uh, that realm right there. Uh, you basically can go on subjugation wars for, like, entire kingdoms. Let's see. And it was a pretty long distance. Like, see, I could 
subjugate that entire thing. That seems awfully powerful to me. Uh, it seems like it should be just subjugation of counties. But I guess we'll find out how that goes. Jeez. And my son was murdered on the orders of my concubine. My daughter. She is ambitious and she is cruel. Mm. And doesn't look good. I, I don't have an, a righteous imprisonment against her, do I? Can I imprison her? Yeah. It's viewed as tyrannical to imprison my concubine who murdered my son. I suppose I could uh, go for uh, having a son again. Uh, the fever is gone and my nose is dry. The headache is long gone and I feel alive again. Excellent. Ah, I have another son who is a genius. Yes. Okay. He shall be known as Ald. The Alds of India. Better not kill him, concubine. Work has become boring, and the long hours of the day drag on. Diligence may be a virtue, but it's exhausting. Damn it! Lose the trait diligent. <sighs> Can't hold a feast yet. I need prestige of 100, I think. I hate those events that you, uh, where you lose those, uh, traits. And my concubine is pregnant. Excellent. I am going to have so many children. And of course, uh, we're under Gavelkind. I will need to change that. A delegation from your subjects has arrived. Large-scale forest clearing work is being done in one of your provinces. Recent illness among the elephants means the peasants don't have enough of the animals to be able to finish in time before the rainy season. They ask you to lend them elephants to speed up their work. I have never seen this event before, obviously. So let's see what we've got. I will send elephants. It will cost me money. I will gain significant prestige for this point in the game. Uh, I can't spare my elephants, but I will send soldiers to help. I will lose a little bit less gold, gain less prestige. Or your problems are not my concern. Kataka gets neglected development. Giving a bonus to revolt risk and a penalty to the tax modifier. Who would choose that? I will send elephants. It's not that much money. I can definitely afford that. And a nice prestige bonus out of that, too. Our knowledge of trade practices has increased. Excellent. Not that does that much for me. Let's, uh, let's actually see how stuff is spread. None of this is spreading, unfortunately. Uh, siege equipment is. And military organization is. Um, ooh, 14%. Per year for town infrastructure and 14% for castle infrastructure. I do, in fact, like that. Uh, a little bit for noble customs, 13% for religious customs, 8% for majesty. That's good. Tolerance, 15% uh, for legalism. Mm, looking forward to that. Hi, guys! <laughs> It has been brought to your attention that the large garden outside castle is frankly a mess. Last week, one of your courtiers got lost in that wilderness, and the man did not emerge for two days. Tackling this garden problem head-on could be an excellent project with which to improve your stewardship. Time to stretch those green fingers! No, gardening is for weaklings and the clergy. Now, nah, let's, let's go with that. Uh, let's see daughter was born to this guy that I married off to a woman in my court. Good. Uh, let's actually uh, take a look at our terrain map here for a little bit. Uh, so this is jungle. There will be uh, 
defensive bonus for that. That's also jungle. That is also jungle. Ah, we do get these messages. Magyar nomads no more. The king of the Magyars, Almos, has decided to settle down in the Carpathian Basin, making it the new homeland of the Magyar tribes. Interesting. They have created uh, Hungary. They did not actually take all of Hungary before they did that, interestingly enough. And all of these other ones became independent realms. Of course, none of that really matters to us. All the way over here. Uh, interesting. All right. So, let's see. What other things are jungle? Yeah, there's some jungles around here. Together with your gardeners, you have redesigned your castle garden into a more manageable form. You have organized the digging of a small canal system to keep your plants watered. The weeds have been removed, and the hedge maze now actually has an exit. The skeletal remains strewn about the maze's dead ends have also been cleared out. Oh, I hope we were able to figure out who those were and give them proper bearings. Hard but rewarding work. I have learned much. Gain to stewardship. Fantastic. Caused me to. Uh, what? Oh, that's right. I lost diligent. Damn it. Thacker Ald of Karataka has fulfilled the ambition to improve stewardship. Excellent. Uh, fate smiles upon me. My concubine is pregnant again. All right. What do we want? Um, it's wealth. Exalted amongst men. Improve mar Let's go ahead and improve martial. a lot of jungle. Uh, the jungle is a new uh, terrain type. Let's see. That's, oh, that's the desert. And a daughter was born. She is sickly. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. At least I'll start being able to... Uh, these are all planes. I thought some of this would be jungle. I don't know. I don't know that area very well. Uh, one of my... Nope, not my daughter. I don't care, then. She died a sickly infant. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. A son was born to one of our other vassals. That's good. And my wife is pregnant again. Excellent. Ah, so many children. This is going to cause a problem if I cannot switch off Gavelkin, of course. Unless, of course, I keep a, just a handful of uh, territories to myself. And another child who is uh, ill. I'm going to have so many kids. Let's uh, see if um, I can have any events. I can change religious branch now. Uh, we'll lose 50 prestige. Let's see. The four traditions of Hinduism are Shaivism, Vaishnavism, Shaktism, and Smartism. You've decided to choose a new way, but which one shall it be? Uh, revering Shiva as superior, revering Vishnu as superior, revering Shakti, the feminine divine as superior, or revering the oneness of many gods as supreme. So that would be plus 0.5 piety, and I might go with that. Uh, plus point, plus 20% fertility. Or prestige. This one, I think, gives a vassal bonus. That would be good later. 
but right now I want the piety. Let's go with that. Alright, we're now getting a slight bonus. Ever so slight bonus. Um, has not already converted. Huh. Now let's see what can I do. Uh, I could hold a tiger hunt. Uh, what do I need to do? I need prestige of 300 to search for a guru. I need prestige of 100 so I can... Okay, so we'll be able to hold a feast later in the year. Or I could do a tiger hunt. Let's wait and do the uh, uh, feast. It'll be uh, in October. So we'll do that. I'm going to slowly build up my uh, piety. A group of wandering Buddhist monks have come to visit the province. They are staging impressive shows of acrobatic unarmed fighting techniques in the villages. Those guys are fast as lightning! They must be kung fu fighting. They'd better not teach those things to my peasants. I could gain paranoid, or I could... Ooh, 30% chance of gaining one marshal? Come on, yes! Oh, nice. Okay. Let's pick a new ambition. Ah, oh, I love going through the ambitions like this. Uh, become King of Orisa, which I cannot cancel. Um, mass wealth. Massing wealth would be good. Uh, that would take a while. Or Paragon of Enlightenment. Um... Karma of at least 500. That would take an extremely long time for me right now. Let's go ahead and amass wealth. I think that's probably going to be the easier thing to do. Go ahead and do that. And, uh... And end the episode now in March. It is, uh, March 3rd of 870 A.D., and uh, we have yet to expand, but uh, we're slowly getting our character in order and uh, his <laughs> family. Um, yes, we are we are uh, breeding a lot of dragons, as uh, as it should be, and our heir is in fact a genius, which is fantastic. So um, yeah, I think we're well on our way to. Uh, creating a vast and powerful Indian Empire, which will span the continents. Eventually. Alright, we shall see you in the next episode.